Now, tonight we have a most important business to try to accomplish, and that is to try to have one major role-playing experience which sort of tries to set the stage for an actual demonstration, for an actual sit-in. The Nashville student movement was unique among student movements. It was the most deeply rooted in nonviolence. Let's send them all back to Africa. A year before the Freedom Ride actually began, uh, James Lawson had been training them in nonviolence. What questions does this raise to us as to how uh, we might act nonviolently? What are the basic problems here so far as this whole idea that we're working on? We decided that we would recruit students because you can have no revolution without the young people. We did this with workshops in 1959, the winter and spring, where we were trying to assess what's the next step for desegregating this country. And that's when we made the decision to desegregate downtown Nashville. We had a target, we had a set strategy, and we became a highly disciplined movement. We were concentrating here in Nashville on the store, the Woolworth, Crest, and other stores downtown because that was the only place to shop was downtown. There were no shopping malls and shopping centers. We knew the inside and outside of the stores that we were going to pick it. If there were 12 stools at Woolworth, we knew to send 12 students into that store. When they were arrested, we had 12 more students at the back of the store ready to fill those 12 empty seats. The group itself gave strength. If there was violence, the others gave you strength while you were being beaten or get or whatever it might be. So that you were able to stand a whole lot more than you might have been if you were alone. They had won a victory. They had integrated the uh, lunch counters in Nashville. Uh, and they were tightly organized. So the combination of these three things, organized, victorious, committed to nonviolence just made them natural people to pick up on the Freedom Ride. We had been watching the progress of the Freedom Ride. We were fresh troops. If the Nashville students hadn't decided to continue the rides, it would have proven that uh, violence works and, it, and it's an effective tool to repress the movement. And, and that would have been a, a, a uh, setback um, in many ways. It, it, would have, it would have undermined the credibility of nonviolent tactics. We knew that this was something that Nashville had to do and had to finish. What we did here in Nashville was simply what we call little battles. Freedom Ride, that was the war. 